Hey everyone, Boylan here, and today marks the start of what's going to be the new Dark Dimension 3 timed run series. Now, unfortunately, I didn't start recording my first run of Dark Dimension 3 until the Cosmic Lane, so it is a bit incomplete, so to speak, for that first run. So I'm going to be going doing this from the beginning to hopefully make up for that. The main differences are going to be that I'm going to be having more characters, especially in the first four nodes, than I would have had access to back when I started it. So it likely is going to go a bit quicker than my first run would have. Also, I largely won't be coring anyone in this run of Dark Dimension 3, with maybe the exception of Phoenix possibly in the global lane, because I might have like six or seven different global characters by that point, and so I can get some extra damage and still with the special. Uh, the format largely will be the same though in terms of length, and when I put in the title, it's day whatever, this won't include any coring like it sort of was previously. But anyways, I hope you guys find this interesting or informative running through it again, and without further ado, let's get into it for round two. And so here we are, over at the start of Dark Dimension 3 yet again. We're about to begin our maiden voyage on the first node here. So, honestly, it's been a long time since I've done this, so I barely remember what the kill order is or the types of enemies. We can see that in front of us, though. Uh, looks pretty standard, so we're going to jump back in. I'm not sure who I'm going to start with, though. I have quite a range of characters to choose from now at this point, so uh, I, don't, I don't have to use uh, the symbiotes necessarily right now. Uh, four, eight, I have 11, I was 16 characters with this, so I actually, hmm, I kind of want to start with the Black Order just to see what they can do. Uh, I've not been able to use the five together for some time, so we're gonna, I don't know if that's the best way to start it, but I'm gonna start with the Black Order because this is the first time I've been able to put all five of them together with tier 14. Uh, I'll get some use out of them, of course, from the Cosmic Lane, but I want to give them a shot here. I also did recently take up Minerva to Tier 14 because I had two out of four of the gear pieces and quite a few mini uniques for tech, so I brought her up as well. Uh, characters that I haven't quite brought up to Tier 14 is kind of including Hela and um, Venom yet, because I'm actually short uh, some mini uniques for Venom, so hopefully by the time we get around to City again, I'll definitely have them up by then. Uh, and then Hela, I haven't decided if I'm going to take to tier 14. Other than, oh, and, and Shuri is also missing from this list. Considering taking her up for global as well, because she's fairly useful. So, let's get started anyways here with uh, the Black Order, and let's see what kind of damage we can get out of them. Uh, we do have, well, basically three groups worth of characters, so I'm hoping that I can make some good dents into the first few nodes a lot quicker than I was before when I only had five characters. So, this should go a bit easier, I hope. I'm not sure if I'm using the characters in the right order. I've seen a lot of people using Ebony Maw with the Symbiotes and Minerva to kind of push it a bit quicker, but I'm kind of... And maybe we'll back out if it ends up being not so great, but let's check it out here. So I think, from what I remember, I think we want to start off with uh, killing Doctor Strange and Falcon. I think they're a bit of a problem, so I'm going to shoot my basic over here to maximize the damage, which actually did a fair dent. Now we do get... Minerva star throw and in terms of damage, I guess it's probably gonna come out of Hella Probably because she's gonna have death knives Although now that I think about it Psylocke's gonna be able to throw those back. So I'm gonna have to be careful about this here um, And I got another basic here That's gonna do a lot of damage I'm concerned about those uh, those bleeds being thrown back though and the only reason why I'm on two times mode right now is because I just want it to be... I just want to see what's going on. There's a lot of characters on the field now. I'm a f I am don't want to do anything. I know Psylocke's going to throw those back at some point. Because uh, she does take her turn before Groot. So I don't want to use any major abilities at this point, And hopefully I can stay alive through that. Um, I know that Black Order doesn't have the... Doesn't have crazy amount of sustain. So... I have to kind of hope here that um, the Psylocke throws off those debuffs and then I can flip them, but it seems like <laughs> it seems that uh, Thanos is taking a lot more returns than I was expecting him to. Uh, that's going to be a lot of bleeds, and I actually think whoever takes that is, unless there's an immunity and they throw it to, um... oh, maybe Ebony Ma will end up taking it. I don't know. Psylocke still hasn't taken her turn. <laughs> Maybe I could have focused her down. I, I, I don't even know. Like, because everyone else has kind of died at this point. Okay, she's... Oh, no. Proxima. 
she died? No, she's not dead. If I can get Thanos' turn before her turn, then I can flip them. And then we're all gravy. I don't know if that's just gonna happen. Oh, maybe. Oh, okay, let's flip them. The regen? Oh, I don't know what happened. There's still bleeds on her? Ooh, ooh. But no, she healed up. Okay. That's good. Actually, we can deal with that. So let's. Um. A lot of charges there, I think. Uh. Let's. I don't know if this is the best move, but let's stun Cyclops here. I don't want any of these uh, damage dealers getting their AoE off. Then we can start buffing up. Oh, Groot! I shake that off. But I, I can start uh, doing some buffs up with Ebony Maw, hopefully. Uh, although he does have his ultimate, so maybe I want to heal everyone up there that way. Don't die! Oh, God. Take your turn, Ebony Maw. Yeah, okay, there we go. Um. I think I'm going to need to put down that slow down on everyone here at this point here. So let's do that. And it heals everyone up. Okay, so... Oh. Oh, maybe we need the... Uh, uh, we, we need the defense up with Ebony Maw special as well. Let's uh, pick up the speed here. Okay, uh, Cyclops is dead. So that's four down. So we need to get through Cyclops here. We cleared the... Or sorry, uh, Colossus. We got the taunt there. Let's... Uh... Yeah, let's use the ultimate, maybe. Do some extra damage there. There should be a new wave coming in soon, I would think. Um, I want to get rid of these three here. I'm just going to basic, though. Do some cleave damage there. And we got a new wave with Loki. We're going to use the special here with Ebony Maw. And that avoided quite a few characters, it would seem. Hell is dead. Um... Cull still has the taunt, but he's got a uh, disrupt for two turns, which kind of sucks. Um, always afraid of kind of Psylocke throwing sh crap back again. <laughs> um, but I'm also afraid of Loki mind controlling and me kicking my own ass. So. Um, I'm gonna go with Psylocke, though. I'm gonna see if I can get her down. I don't know if that's the best. Okay, uh, I guess that didn't matter too much there. Ooh, ooh, new wave means new ultimates and all that. Hang in there, guys. I'm not sure how uh, how impressive Black Order is for uh, long term fights, but hey, I'm already I'm already knee deep in it, so I'm not gonna refresh at this point or or change my tactics. Uh, we're still alive. It, I mean, the, the problem is, of course, is that outside of Ebony Maw's uh, ultimate, there's really no way to heal everyone up. Uh, to a good amount of health, and with the passive, that only triggers once per match, so because these kind of go on for quite a while, it's not really meant for, like, marathoning, I guess, like I could have if, with my symbiotes and Minerva and stuff like that, so I have a feeling my characters are probably going to start dropping somewhat soon. Uh, let's go over here. Because uh, yeah. I can't really get them out of the yellow here, so I have a feeling... With all these bleeds, it's just a matter of time, really, before one of them drops, so... And then we got the Taunt on Colossus, so... I think this is probably starting to wind down here. And then I'll have to come back in with another team that I have. My Symbiotes probably with some, a few others. And maybe it'll go a bit better, but hey. I'm not really one of these people who just want to, you know, kind of do everything in one turn, kind of like Dark Dimension 2. You probably could, you know, with the right team and the right setup. You, and I've seen people on the, the high score that you can one-shot it, but uh, I don't know if that's, that's really me or not. So, uh, let's, yeah, uh, let's let's just do what we can. I'm probably going to save whatever cooldowns I have uh, for when I use them the next time. If they even get a turn taken, they have slow, so probably just let it play out here. Oh, wow. Okay, Thanos got a turn, but... Oh, actually, uh... Um, maybe here? I don't know where to max... Oh, maybe over here. Uh, I don't really know where to maximize the damage. Groot's almost dead, but he's kind of... Death Groot. Yeah. Okay, well... I guess someone? I don't even know. Is Corvus gonna get a turn? Wow, he actually got a turn. Now, who can I kill here? That Mysterio is... Is this real Loki? I can't tell. Um, <laughs> let's 
poke just, <laughs> just poke the Mysterio to death there. Okay, so that's like almost halfway through I think uh, the first run with my Black Order. So uh, let's jump back in with I guess the real team. I didn't expect them to really live that long, but hey, that was kind of fun anyways. So that was 6.91 million damage on the first gun, first go. So uh, who do we have left here? Um, I think we're definitely gonna go with the symbiotes and. I don't know if I need, should spread them out, maybe. And we have Minerva somewhere. So Minerva and Carnage. Oh, I don't want him there, actually. Black Bolt, maybe. And um, Scientist Supreme, maybe? And, or Invisible Woman. Uh, eh. Carnage, and uh, I, can't, uh, I can't decide on my last character either. Scientist Supreme. Or Invisible Woman. I, I was just trying to think there how many debuffs there are that maybe she could flip. I don't really want to debuff my own characters necessarily though with um, with Scientist Supreme's ultimate because I think that might impact me too much in the first rounds but uh, let's go with Ultron. Uh, do we need more support maybe is what I'm thinking though. Maybe not. Mm, we can get the Ultron bot train going. Let's, let's try that. I have so many characters, I don't even know what the best combination is, but, uh, you know, I think at this point, as long as I'm making forward progress and I'm doing a fair bit of damage, you know, that's the important part here. And at least in the first four nodes, there's going to be a fair bit of progress being made, so I, I'm not too concerned about how quickly I get there. I guess the faster I, I beat Dark Dimension the second time, you know, then I get to wait around until Dark Dimension 4 is ready for us. <laughs> so, who do we want to focus on here? I think... Probably Falcon, but there's a lot of almost dead people here. Um, I don't know if that's the. I can definitely get the special off here, probably. Or. Uh, kill Loki, anyways. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. Look at the bots. <clears throat> there's not a lot of. Oh, crap. Oh, did they survive? Oh, they survived. Okay, I didn't think about that, actually. Let's, uh, let's do the alt and heal Ultronaut. I didn't do as much as I thought it would, but I guess there's not as many characters. Holy crap! Okay, that wasn't a good idea. Let's, uh, this, <laughs> this is the only time that I'm gonna, gonna back out of that. She took, like, what, three of those hits from Ghost Rider, and apparently that was just too much. So let's let's try that again, and uh, I guess I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I don't know who I how many people who I killed or whatever, but that was uh, that was rough. Uh -huh, loading screen. Okay, so we're back in here. Um, yeah. It. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Um, I don't remember him taking his turn that quickly before. Or was Ultron the one that took the penance there? Since, let's, let's actually focus on, oh no, there's two ghosts right, yeah, that's right, okay, so. Uh, Carnage took the penance there last time. Uh, did my game just freeze? Oh my god. Fix your game, Scopely. Okay. Looks like I'm quitting, not because I want to. Oh, am I actually going to have to force close? <sighs> You're joking. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to restart my blue stacks, I guess, and I'll, I'll, be, I'll be back with my, <laughs> my filming. Okay, we're back. I don't know what kind of uh, crashing nonsense that was, but we're going <laughs> to jump back in with the same team again and hope the game doesn't crash out. So, uh... Pfft. I, I guess the game really doesn't like Symbiote Spider-Man or something because uh, it seemed like after I did the special there, my guy was frozen in time there and didn't want to reset. So hopefully this doesn't happen again, and my apologies everyone there on that. Let's pick up this pace here. Let's see who uh, Ghost Rider decides to penance stare for the first time here, and it's going to be Minerva. That's actually okay as long as she doesn't die. Um, I need to be careful about what she ends up doing. I didn't think that uh, she was going to get killed by her own ult uh, with all these Ghost Riders around, I guess. Or maybe that's what happened. Maybe it was just one one death, and then the both... I, I, both oh my god. That's, okay. 
Oh my god, I hate... I They, they seem to have it out for support-based characters, and this is just super annoying. Um... I just... I don't know if this is the best setup for these characters, but... I'm thinking I kind of lack support, and... Um, we just need to get the run where, uh, I don't know, my supports don't get hit with Pen and Stare. Black Bolt could take the Pen and Stare, like anyone else could take it. My, my Symbius can heal up, so that's not a problem. Or hey, they could target Symbius Spider-Man and he could dodge. That would be great. But, uh, oh, is that what... Uh, hey! That's exactly what just happened, so that's awesome. I They're giving me some luck here. Okay, so let's hope it doesn't crash. Okay, alright, we're doing better here. Uh, we got some some burps from Black Bolt here. Um, and I just need uh, that's okay. I'm okay with that. That happened last time. Uh, and then that shouldn't kill anyone. And so this is what I'm concerned about. I'm <laughs> I'm not gonna alt because the last time it did, I killed Minerva. So let's let's um, kill Cyclops because he's got a lot of charges. I don't want him getting that off at all. Oh my god, double. So why is this... Oh, he, he bit it too. I don't know why these Ghost Riders are so much stronger than the City Ghost Riders. Because I don't know if you watched me on the City 4 node, but the Ghost Riders passive was like barely scratching Symbiote Spider-Man. I think it did like 10 or 20k damage. So these ones are doing significantly more damage than the previous ones. Um, we need to work on Falcon though, and that might kill Groot. No? Okay, he's, he's about to die too. There's, there's some boss going on. Here, uh, I'm gonna leave Groot, actually, uh, Groot, Groot alone. I kind of want to kill. Uh, okay, yeah. I don't want I don't want Ultron to die though. Here and Ultron's without Red Stars. Ultron's just so squishy, and uh, you know he is good, but the Ultron train is very hard to get going in Dark Dimension uh, because the the enemies hit so hard, and since he doesn't have Red Stars, it doesn't scale very well. Uh, the the enemies don't scale very well here, so I. Okay, so there's one Ghost Rider. I think I can handle that. I don't think Minerva's gonna get wrecked here. Should should deflect actually, so that help. Don't know where she got that from, but uh, we need to kill. Oh, the group just revive. And they're not wanting to make it easy for my first run, and this is this is really gonna hurt here. And maybe I, sh oh, God, I should have probably focused on uh, Falcon a bit earlier. And why is Minerva taking it? Minerva has a taunt. Okay, great. Where did she get that from? Who gave her taunt? Who? Oh, I don't even know who, who has taunt. Oh, Cyclops. Okay. Um, I guess we're gonna do this. Did anyone die? I think we're all alive here still somehow. Um, we got some slows all, all around. Oh god. Oh, my nervous still alive somehow. Anyone die there? Nope, not yet. Okay. No, oh, actually, I, I didn't need to attack Falcon, but uh, um, let's just basic that and move that around a bit. Oh god. Okay. Become. Oh no, that was his third death or second death here. So get some offense up, burps. Ooh, come on, kill someone. What? Okay, whatever. Now can we kill someone? Okay. So, can we bring Ultron back? Oh, God. There's just... I'm really not like... We're almost done, actually, here. Uh, is Minerva gonna get to her another turn? I don't know. Um, we're gonna basic here. That Groot, man. He just doesn't want to die. Okay, let's... Put the revive back on Ultron. I don't know if we need to do this. Uh, everyone's low health, but like they, they're still quite uh, scary here, so it's not over yet. I guess get some buffs going on here. And actually, we don't need to target it. I don't know why it was over here. There's a lot of death boosts here. Let's get um, Hella down here. Oh god. Okay, did Groot actually die this time? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Oh god, that Ghost Rider passive. Um, I'm gonna do some bleeds on Ghost Rider here. Turn down the speed bar on Cyclops, and I'm gonna save my cooldown since it looks like we're sort of on the outs here. 
or uh, finishing the nodes. So let's uh, try and work on Ghost Rider, I guess, because he's the only damage dealer really left. Um, spread that around a bit, I guess. Knock back that turn bar. Okay, it looks like we're probably about to beat this here. So let's start here. Right now, okay. So there's a lot of death groups to beat through with the other Colossuses. And we should be home run, home free. Once I get through these. Okay. That one's down, and... Oh, I never took some damage there. Oh, oops, I forgot to heal. Ah, oh, okay. So we're done that. So that is... First node. <laughs> node one, whatever you want to call it. That's done. So I still have my five characters alive. They're kind of kind of beat up a little bit, but uh, we're going to go back into the dreaded node two. If I, rem I remember this a bit. With the Miss Marvels and actually I thought it was, is this the one or is it the third one the hero brawler one I think this is the third note here actually so the second one I don't remember being that bad but it's been a little while so we're gonna jump back in here so this is still gonna be part of day one hopefully this doesn't end up uh, taking too long <laughs> of a video so we're gonna jump back in and we're basically gonna go through our entire roster until it's dead so it looks like we do have uh, another set of five characters that we can use after these ones don't know how I'm, how far I'm going to be getting with this team, or if this is even the optimal team to be using. If anyone has any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment below about my team roster. Uh, you know, maybe I could have set up uh, my characters better in terms of progress, but uh, at this point, I have, so, I have so many characters for the first four nodes that I'm not too bothered with how fast it gets me, how how, how long it takes me rather. Uh, right, did Black will just almost get wrecked out of the gate. Looks that way. I think we want to focus on uh, Ant-Man. I think he's the one that's going to be a bit of a pain because of his slows. And if I'm not mistaken, actually, the Wasp in this one does a lot of damage with their AoE too. But, uh, so I'm just going to do some damage there. For this. And Oh, the stun. Okay, so... Um, uh, uh, I'm going to stun ant-man because he does have two turns of stun there so i don't want that to go off or potentially two turns of uh, slow sorry uh with his ultimate wow okay that, that happened all really quickly um that's probably not ideal but because we have so many characters and a lot of uh the video is getting a, a, to a fair length i'm not actually going to rerun this at this point uh we're just going to do what we can and eat uh, wow that summon actually was pretty useless, but hey, let's see how far the, the symbiotes can do. They do well in uh, the city mode. Can they do that well here? <laughs> it's the symbiote show featuring symbiote Spider-Man and Carnage, and everyone else is just a uh, supporting role. And some extra damage in here. I'd actually... I don't know how far we're gonna get this with just the two of them, but hey, it is what it is. I think the most annoying part of Dark Dimension 3 actually is the first four, really the first eight nodes. I think once you get to Cosmic and City, it's actually not that bad. You know, it's not as frustrating as I remember the first eight nodes were when I went through it. And that was kind of annoying there. But uh, in terms of the damage and, and how much damage really gets thrown out by these characters in the first eight, it's just a lot, and yeah, that's what kind of frustrated me and a lot of other people as well, you know, because really it became largely sort of who could do the most damage with Phoenix, but it is what it is, and hey, speaking of Phoenix, uh, that's who we got going back in here, so. Um, do, 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 do. So let's set up our third team here, and so I guess we're going to have Phoenix on the end probably, so Invisible Woman, Sinister... Uh, probably, I don't really care much about Punisher at this point. It's probably not going to be much use. And then Colossus, I guess, on the far end or something. I don't know if that's the best place to put them, but... Hey, this is, I guess, the Phoenix team, or the Phoenix round. Now, there isn't a lot of damage in that team, so... Maybe in the future I might actually switch out Ultron for... I don't know, someone there. Maybe... 
Scientist Supreme, possibly, and then use Scientist Supreme with the Symbiotes. Because uh, I think we need some more damage on this team outside of Phoenix. There's not a lot. There's a fair bit of support here, but that's about it. Wow, okay. Um, let's rerun that. That, that, says, that, that. that looked very familiar to what happened the last time. And why did it look like they... What happened to the damage? Or was there no damage? I, th that looked a bit weird to me. Oh, yeah, is Captain Marvel healing as well? Ugh. Man, it's, it's so hot here uh, in, the, in the summer right now. I'm just, like, not really thinking straight. So if I'm making mistakes, that's why. I'm just uh, sitting here in, like, close to 35 degree temperatures and Celsius or 90 plus Fahrenheit. So, uh, uh, yeah, if I'm making game mistakes, that's probably why. Anyways, it, it, actually, there's still damage. I, I guess we never really targeted uh, Captain Marvel. I'm okay with that. Colossus just took a crazy beating there. I don't know if he's going to survive, but we'll find out. So we're going to do this with Phoenix and try to get her killed, I think. Um, also, I'm going to do this and see if that makes a difference. If I can make it back around to my... This is always where I get confused. You know, do I want to wait for Scientist Supreme to get back to her turn and flip this? Or, you know, use the special... But then if I use the special, it's going to hide Phoenix. I don't want that either. Um... Normally, I try to also save this for later, but I think we might need that to survive. Um, Colossus has a taunt as well. Oh, that got cleared. Okay, never mind. Can, you, can everyone cl kill uh, kill Phoenix? Please kill Phoenix. Oh, somehow Colossus got another taunt. Okay. And we're stuck behind Captain America. Now, I don't know. I don't think he's the optimal clone, but he's the only one I have right now. Can I use him to clear? Oh, yeah, okay, did. So now we can, we have no debuffs, uh, or no buffs to extend, so we're going to work on, who doesn't have offense down? It looks like most of them do have offense down, so we're just going to work on um, Ant-Man some more here, and hope, okay, great. So Phoenix is dead, we can do the special, and we killed Ant-Man, Ant Ant so uh, I think from there we're going to work on, well, whoever we're stuck behind, I guess now. Um, I'm gonna get that taunt going though, so that's good. So that's better than nothing. Although it looks like it just lost the taunt. And uh, can we get some healing down? Do we need to use a special? No, we don't. Not at the moment. Can get some healing off though. Oh, that stealth almost everyone. That's that was awkward. That made uh, Invisible Woman a bit of a target. Get some damage in there. That was pretty good. Um, I kind of want to just extend these buffs here uh, and hope that I don't lose any of the others. Blind cap. Oh, come on. Hang in there, guys. Oh, oh, I forgot. We should probably take care of Captain Marvel now. Now, I'm going to use the special. I am afraid this is probably going to make Dark Phoenix a target, but then hopefully Colossus should taunt soon. Or I could do it now, actually. There we go. So that helps. He's got a lot of buffs there, Colossus. He's beefy. Uh, so let's get Captain Marvel down here and focus damage over here. Uh, that binary seemed to come really quick around. I mean, that's two binaries already. She's almost dead. I think Colossus might bite it pretty soon here, though. Oh, come on. I was stuck behind this, uh, this Luke Cage taunt. Looks, yeah, I think he's gonna he's gonna bite it pretty quick, quickly here. Um. Don't know if that's gonna be good or not. Oh, interestingly, that uh, Dark Phoenix had immunity, so kind of she didn't end up taking the debuffs there. Uh, looks like Sinister's gonna bite it pretty quickly unless he can get some. Oh, okay, Sinister's down. Okay, well, we can flip whatever we have here. We need to get Captain Marvel down. Can we kill her? Yeah, we did. Okay. And just got another Captain Marvel. Great. <laughs> and let's get rid of this Wasp. So we got her down as well. And probably just... Uh... Oh, wow. We got another special. That's cool. Okay. Luke Cage is down. Um, probably want to focus this Captain Marvel. I don't know if we're going to get too much progress in after this, though. I think we're probably... 
on the outs. Oh wow, okay, we got a revive on. I'm saving up any of the ability energy though at the moment. I think we're probably like, well, maybe nothing to really extend. I, I could have taunted that actually. Let's finish off Jessica Jones. Are we gonna get any more people down? Okay, we lost the clone. <sighs> Ant-Man, Wasp, and Cap down again. Oh boy. Do some extra damage there. We could clone someone. Who, who should we clone? Um, we need to control. Maybe get some support cloning in. Maybe. Um, you know, actually, Cap wasn't a terrible clone with his uh, taunt defense up to everyone as well. I'm gonna clone Ant Man though. I'm gonna see if I can get his uh, two turns slow. Oh, that, that might not even matter now. But uh, let's see if we can land it on Captain Marvel. And we did actually. Oh, it's only it's only one turn. I thought it was two turns to the primary target. Hmm. I actually don't know. <laughs> I I think I'm just gonna let it, let the game play out. I don't want to use any cooldowns at this point because it looks like everyone's kind of dying. So we're gonna leave it there. And. Wow, I didn't realize how long this video was going actually as well, so I don't know if I'm going to need to maybe spread this out, at least for the first four nodes, because the looks like the timing on my video is getting quite lengthy, so I'm going to leave this as is for right now. I'm not going to be using Punisher on screen. I might use him off screen uh, with just Phoenix and revive Phoenix, but I'm not going to use him in, in any team. I'm not going to core anyone else to get him involved, so uh, that's going to be the end of today. So this is my Dark Dimension 3 timed run. Uh, it looks like it took us 30 minutes to get all the damage we did. We cleared node 1 and about a quarter or so of node 2. So I'm not going to be redoing it over and over again to get the perfect run. So I'm just going to throw my characters at it, do the damage that we can, and eventually we'll get through to the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the first episode of this. And until next time, guys, see you then.